Am I getting hurt? I don't know. Maybe not. No. But that's kind of annoying. <laughs> it's like a minor inconvenience. Hiccup every few seconds. These look like classes, All right. but Done. it's a lot to read through. I'm gone. All right. Three planes aligned, uh. and then a uh. map here. Magecraft training, combat training, Western lecture hall, Eastern lecture hall, hallway leading to the dormitories. This door. Where does this door go? Uh, all right. Uh, like another combat. Oh, a thief in training. Okay. Uh, At least somebody in here uh, can train, right? Maybe. Uh, They're all in training. Nobody. Is the actual trainer? Ah. Guess not. All right. <coughs> well, let's go ah. see what the dormitories are all about. All right, I'm gone. have pretty generic dialogue. Uh, Fest hall room clerk. Do you understand me between uh, my hiccups? The attractive young woman smiles pleasantly. Greetings, sir. Ah, uh, here's your room key. <laughs> oh, we actually get a room. She ends you with a small key. The easternmost chamber has been waiting some quite so quite some time for you re your return. Uh, what do you mean waiting for my return? I actually would like to rest now, but I'm more interested in asking that. The clerk gives you a strange look. My ledger indicates that you that this is your key, sir, and has been for a good long time. If that is not so, then perhaps I'm merely mistaken. Would you like to rest now? Uh, yeah, actually I would. We haven't rested in a while, and then somebody's health will get back up. There we go. <coughs> Not quite all the way, but... Hmm. Interesting. <coughs> Alright. So we have a room in the first <coughs> hall. Alright. I'm gone. <coughs> Done. <coughs> uh, I don't really want to steal stuff. Alright. Probably could, but... <coughs> I'm gone. That hiccuping is pretty annoying. <laughs> well, I'm pretty prone to the hiccups. In fact, I think I've... Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've had hiccups. All right. During recordings in the past. Unfulfilled desire. That would be something Mort would be interested in. The woman before you is incredibly attractive. There's some intangible aura about her that makes you want to speak to her. As you step up to her, she glances at you coyly. Then she gives you a knowing smile. You want something, yes? She hisses the yes, drying it out slowly, sensually, from between her teeth. I can help you. Name your desire, and I shall provide it. I love the festival. <laughs> The woman ignores Mort, her eyes locked with yours. She smiles, awaiting your response. <laughs> so we can ask for her, obviously. Um, weapons, magical items, magical spells, knowledge, memories. 
I think we might ask for our memories. Actually, I think first I'm gonna save. Not <coughs> necessarily because I might change anything, but just <coughs> in case. Yeah, memories. She smiles. Much may be forgotten in a lifetime. And much more in several lifetimes. I can help you. She studies your face closely. Explain to me the ways in which you want these memories. Speak to me your craving, and I shall speak to you of the price. Uh, what proof do you have that you could return them to me? She doesn't seem to move, but suddenly her hand is touching your forehead, a finger dragging along your temple. Only this. You feel as if the fog in your head has been peeled away, briefly, enough to catch a glimpse of remembrance. But before you can focus on the memory, the fog rolls back in. Only tell me why you desire it. Speak to me your craving, and I shall speak to you of the price. Uh. Yeah, describe the way in which you want your memories back. As you speak, her smile fades and she leans forward attentively, her eyes ravaging your features as you speak. Her presence compels you to speak more than you normally would, and after a few moments, her eyes flutter closed and she gives a sharp intake of breath. Suddenly, de the desire for your memories begins to wane. Your want slowly drains out of you, leaving only a sense of cold emptiness in its wake. She opens her eyes again to stop as you stop speaking. What is wrong, traveler? Do you no longer want your memories returned to you? What did you do to me, woman? She seems perplexed. Whatever do you mean? Despite her innocent demeanor, you're certain something unnatural has occurred. She has somehow siphoned off some part of your desire, stolen it away from some ghastly collection of wants, or perhaps to feed upon. <laughs> had you first, had you, had you finished speaking your desire, you're certain it would have been lost forever to you. Hmm. Uh. I think we don't want anything else. I'm gone. <coughs> Sounds like she's some sort of freakish <coughs> devourer of desire or something. <coughs> Not really. I'm gone. Ah. Ah. I'm okay. gone. Who else is in this weirdo place? Ah. I'm gone. <coughs> you can see ah. a small enclosed patio through the glass doors. I'm gone. <coughs> Locked. Um... <coughs> Forced it. <coughs> Done. Oh, it's a... Ah. Cabinet. I thought that might have been a door that went out somewhere. Well, <coughs> what's in here? Hmm. I'm gonna take that, because it could be useful. Ah. Done. Oh, there's lots of scrolls in here. Well, all right. Ah. There's nobody in here, so I think <laughs> I'm gone. Ah. I'm just gonna steal Done. them. Uh, I can't close the door. Oh well. <coughs> all right. Ah. All right. Endure. Your will be done. I don't have enough room in my inventory. I shall serve. <coughs> Your path is mine. Thrice blind charm, not charm. Okay. Ah. Uh. Man, after a few hours, those hiccups might start getting old. 
so <gasps> some sunsets in here. All right. uh. These look like standard chambers.